a little bit of physics. We've got a little bit of time. So we do, so we do deal with jumping. So uh, superheroes have a tendency to jump high in the air, being superheroes. So just question, I guess, is let's say you decide to jump in the air, right? So we could do that. I'll do it. But yes, I jump in the air, right? The question is, what makes you leave the ground? What, what's making me leave the ground when I jump in the air? Anybody? The normal force, right. So the normal force is the reaction force. It's the ground pushing up. So as I'm standing right now, the normal force pushing up is exactly balanced by my weight. They're equal, okay? So I don't move. What's the difference between that situation and the situation when I jump, jump in the air? Is the normal force the same when I jump in the air? So the normal force is actually greater. So if I push on the ground, then I have to push on the ground with a force that is greater than my weight. And that means that the reaction overcomes my weight. So I push on the ground with a force that's more than the pull of the earth of gravity on my weight. Okay? So as I stand right now, normal reaction is balancing my weight. They are not a Newton's third law pair, but they are balanced. Okay? So the normal reaction is balancing my weight. If I push on the ground with enough force, then the normal reaction, the ground will push back on me with exactly the same force as I push on the ground. That's Newton's third law. So I push on the ground, the ground pushes back on me. If that is greater than my weight, then I'll go into the air. Okay? So then the question is, what, what, why does the ground break when Hancock jumps in the air in the following clip? So here he is. So he leaps in the air, the ground rips, rips apart. Why would that be, based on what we just said? Anybody? Right, so the force he pushes on the ground has to be strong enough to make him go really high in the air. So he's pushing on the ground with a force much greater than you or I could push on the ground. So for him to go really high, assuming he's not flying, okay, for him just to do a jump, he has to push on the ground with a lot of force. And that means that the ground pushes back on him with a lot of force. And if the ground pushes back on him with enough force, it can just, uh, uh, basically, if it's greater than the compression strength of asphalt, it'll just rip. Because the ground is, it's like a trampoline. You push on something, you're squashing the ground, it's going to squash back out. If you, push it, if you push on it enough, it has to push up with the same force so it'll rip. And the calculation that we did in this class, doing this class at some point, is to calculate the compression strength. We look up the compression force of asphalt, <coughs> And we can use that to figure out how high he goes, and we can compare that to the clip. And it comes within a factor of 10. It's about right, which is surprising. There's a lot of good, good physics in that movie. So this is, a, this is just to give you an idea of the kind of problems that we might have in a homework or in an exam. Um, so we have three things. We have, uh, we've got a, maybe you, want to, you might want to stop a, a runaway subway chain. You might want to throw a small child up above the clouds. Or you might want to catapult a large farm animal onto a bunch of English knights. And the question is, which one um, requires the most force? Uh, so let's have a look at the clips. The first one is stopping a runaway subway chain. So I think you know where that's from, if I can find it.
He, looks, he really looks <laughs> like he needs to go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> it's like, come on, get it out. All right, so, okay. So that would require a lot of force um, because you think because the train's really big. But remember, it's, it's a question, force is a question of mass. It's also a question of acceleration. So the train is stopped over a very long distance. So that would bring the force, the estimate of force way down if you're doing F equals MA. So you might have a small A, but a large, a, large M. So it's not clear which would be the, which, whether this one would be more than the other clips. Um, there are certain things to take into account. One interesting thing about spider web is um, it's very, very strong. It's, it's apparently, you can look it up, I don't remember exactly, something like five, maybe, maybe five, eight times stronger than steel cable. And, a lo and maybe it has an, an amazing elasticity. So spider web would be the right stuff to use if you can make it that thick if you wanted to stop a train. Um, next thing, the... Oh dear. So, to throw the kid in the air requires an enormous amount of force. Um, basically, you can, from the clip, you can figure out how long he's been in the air. If you know how long something's been in the air, and if, you, if we ignore air resistance, which we will sometimes in the class, but not later on, you can figure out um, the speed that you come down at. And then you can look at, if he's coming down at a certain speed, you can think, well, he's, he slows him down from here to here, so you have that distance, and then you can use something like v squared minus u squared is 2as, which will the equations of motion that we will talk about, uh, to figure out the acceleration and the force, etc. Um, so that's the type of thing we do. So we, often, as I say, from the clips, you are, sometimes you'll get the time, sometimes you'll get the distance. Uh, the third one, the classic, all right? Uh, John Cleese, looking very young. I love that one. So you, for that one, we would figure out, <coughs> basically, I don't know why they have subtitles, to be perfectly honest. Um, but you have the mass of the cow, the time in the air, um, and I guess the contact. It's all about, you know, with these movie clips, it's all about contact time, contact distance. Because you're always, to have something dramatic, to have somebody get hurt, you have to have a, f uh, a force exerted over a short distance or a short time. So those, that's, those are the, the hardest things to get from these clips. You have to come up with, you know, have to estimate something. <laughs> 